How you doing guys and welcome to another series on the channel. This one I've titled how to get a 7 on your IA and in this series I'm going to talk about what you should be trying to do and achieve in your IA to get top marks in each of the criteria. Make sure you check out my links to Twitter and Instagram. Often when I walk around the lab, I take some photos of what my students are doing and they might give you some ideas for possible IA topics or things that you might have not considered before. So make sure you check those out. Now, if this video helps you out at all, please make sure that you drop a like on it. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. It really helps me out. Now let's get into talking about part one, which is the personal engagement. All right, part one of your AA is known as your personal engagement, your PE, and it's worth two out of the 24 for your IA. Now it's one part of the process where you should be aiming to get two marks. If you do this properly and you show some interest in your investigation, you should be able to acquire those two marks. So here you want to introduce the reader to your investigation. You want to put forward why you are investigating this. Why are you interested in this? Now, as you do that in your personal engagement, I want you to describe your thought process for choosing that investigation. Why have you decided to choose that research question? Why did it interest you? You may have asked some questions along the way, so include those questions. They don't have to be answered, but they help to show how your thought process developed as you finalized your research question. So after you've asked those questions, you might start to make some links to the IB curriculum. You might be looking at topic 10, an organic chemical pathway. You might be looking at topic seven, some equilibrium, but you want to try and make some links to the diploma program. If you're a standard level student and you're picking a higher level topic to study during your IA, this is a great time to, to introduce the reader that you are a standard level student, but you're going above and beyond what's needed in the course to get you that IA. Now the main thing in your personal engagement is you need to show or display to the reader genuine interest in curiosity. So a great way of doing that is using sentence starters like this, I was curious about or I wondered if. Those are great ways of showing that you are actually interested and that you didn't just look at this IA up on the internet and find and pick a research question that is done before. So you need to demonstrate that you were interested in this topic and it has personal significance to you. What you wanna do is you wanna lead the reader through that process. And then at the end of your personal engagement, you wanna finish with your research question, your really well-defined research question. And the research question needs to be framed in this way. How does X affect Y? So you finish with your research question after presenting all of your interest and curiosity to the reader, and you should have no problem getting two out of two for that particular criteria. Now here's some things to avoid. You really want to avoid telling elaborate childhood stories. The moderators, your teachers, they don't want to read fake made up fictional stories about childhood or your uncle or your uncle's uncle. Okay, so get away from telling stories. Also, when you're picking your investigation, you need to try and decide on a research question that is not self-evident. And by self-evident, we mean something that you would already know the answer to. So if something has been presented in the diploma program and it's been answered, I would say that is self-evident. And you want to avoid those self-evident questions because they don't lead to a very good interest and then it's also hard to gain marks in the other areas of personal engagement as well. Now your personal engagement, it's not just shown in the personal engagement section, it flows through into the exploration where you design your method and we'll talk about that in the next episode of how to get a seven on your IA. Now thanks for watching guys, don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more, and make sure you catch the next episode of How to Get a 7 on your IA, which will be the exploration.